And then our next pick here, we got uh, Miami Dolphins. They got Noah Igmanogne uh, from Auburn. Ooh, uh, nice spelling that, pronouncing that name, man. I respect it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so here, this was a great pick. But the only problem is they already paid for Xavier Howard and Byron Jones. So this is like another Cowboys type of situation where they're just pouring more money into a position. That they they already have tons of players. Yeah, exactly. Uh, as a player, I mean, he's a great corner. I think Gladney and Fulton are better, but not by a lot. Uh, I'm going to give it a C minus, maybe. I'm going to give it a D plus, actually. It's not a – Yeah. Um, I really like the player. I've been talking about him. Uh, I've been talking about him for a while, to at least you. And I had him in our first mock draft going, I think, 31st, so pretty much around here. I really like the player. I think if he had stayed an extra year in Auburn, he would have been a first-round pick coming into 2021. And he was a first-round pick this year, which shows you how good he actually was. Really athletic, has all that the tools you want, all of that. A bit raw, and he can work on that. I'm going to give it a D plus. I really like the player. Don't like the position, unless they're planning on letting Xavier Howard go anytime soon, which I wouldn't really do because you've invested a ton of money in him and Myron Jones. But I just digress. Brian Flores, um, you're a great head coach. So we'll see what you're doing here. If he plays a good slot cornerback role, which I don't know, maybe you can transition him from there. I'd give it, I'll give it a C minus because I think he'll probably start in the slot, actually. 